That is John. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, Clontifley School, uh, it's in its last days. This lady, uh, Anne Duffy, is the principal. How are you? Well, fine, Rowan. In the circumstances. In the circumstances after yeah. a very traumatic few months. Yeah. Um, you, you, you've had your sleeves rolled up, uh, the whole lot of you down there. It did. It did. Doing it, your every best. one to a man got, got involved and, and no stone was left unturned really in, in, the, in the fight to keep the, the old school of Clonda Place open. Yeah. Um, it's difficult in these, in these economic times sort of to, to, yeah. uh, to do that, but yeah. we tried our best. Well, did he, did the minister not see that not only had you tried your best, but that you'd put a program in place that would guarantee numbers, as, as much as numbers can be guaranteed, into the future? What was his argument of opposition to you? Well, it, it, was, it was the current enrolment probably um, that the school had, had dropped to, to, to just 34 children in the past uh, school year and only two, down to two teachers, which was the, bar the minimum you can go to. And, uh, you know, they looked at, they looked, he, he looked at, and I suppose him and his, and his department looked at the fact that um, it's, it's a lot for two teachers to deliver, uh, you know, to, to a, a wide span of children. Now, we had done our best and, and we felt, um, achieved that admirably and we mm. told him um, so and out outlined these things, but it was just the fact that there aren't the numbers in the area. Mm. Uh, Clonda Place School over the years has, has served the community and not just a local community, but really a wider area. Mm. So um, even back in its history 100 years ago, it, it was maybe always drawing pupils from further afield. Mm. And um, while, while uh, he looked at, at that kind of thing, um, and th the fact that uh, really um, there are empty spaces in, in the local area. In it's Poots, isn't it? Yeah. In, no, no, uh, uh, John, John O'Dowd. Oh, John O'Dowd, of course, yeah. Places. Who Poots is health, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's difficult yeah. to keep up with yeah. those. How you it do, is you the change. You, you know, the yeah. one that, that you're dealing with. Yeah. Do you uh, say, d d d I'm hearing in your voice the notion that it's come to a natural end, or do you feel that? Well, it, it's, it's, it's had a few crisis points along the way, and, it, and it's, it's, it's 174 years old, and it's had a, a few you know, you know, times like <coughs> over the years. The most recent one would have been 19, in the mid-90s, when it, it, it dropped to 26 uh, pupils, and was here marked for closure along with um, mm. a few other schools in Northern Ireland. And at that time, it won a reprieve, mm. because they could show that they could um, you know, increase the enrolment, and, and they did, and that's the point at, at which I joined mm. the Clonda story 18 years ago. And, uh, you you know, took over from the wondrous Sil Campbell. Sil Campbell, it did indeed. Yes, yes. He was, he was headmaster. He was head, there. he was headmaster before me, and, and a you, singing, and you, a singing master. Yes, a, a musical, a, a talented man. Yes, and uh, I took over then, and, and we did increase the, the enrolment, and we did build uh, a school, sort of, you know, for the future. Um, we we built up the staff. We mm. got a new a new extension to the school, which really brought it into the twenty first century as far as building was concerned, mm. and. Uh, facilities and that and it was as good as any you know any other school around and we were able to deliver as good a curriculum and mm -hmm. give the children um, all that they would have had anywhere else mm -hmm. and I think the plus the, the plus bonus was for us the fact that it, because the numbers were small it was a kind of like a family atmosphere mm -hmm. and you got to know the children really well and, and mm -hmm. the, all the adults did and the you, you know you just knew the family going up through and, yeah. and the, the children sort of felt secure and and happy in, in, in the small yeah. environment and that but um, while, while, while it survived, while it rallied round the last time and survived in, in the nineties, it um, it's just has got increasingly difficult now with the, with mm. the economic climate and and the, that we're living in and the cutbacks. Yeah. You know, when you look at the cutbacks that there are in health and and mm. other um, fields, um, mm. it's it's difficult. You know, so pupils mean money, and you mm. need a certain amount of budget to sustain the, the we're school. We're we're, be we're beginning to develop uh, whether we've maybe developed it already a kind of institutional mentality that they're being forced, uh, youngsters are being forced into th the larger yes. sort of uh, shimmering corridored mm. schools. Yes, uh, yes. The lack of the, the, that kind of lovely personal family involvement, yeah. that's a thing of the past. past. Right? It, 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 uh, sadly it is now, yes, yes. And there may be some areas where, it were, we were sort of unique in the sense that we were um, a one-off, you know, we're, we're, we're our school was, was, was built by a, a wealthy landlord uh, years ago who owned eight town lands in, in the area surrounding Clonta Place and he built the school for, the ten for the his workers' children. Now that was at a time when, when agriculture would have been a big mainstay employment for, for many people and the towns weren't big in those days and he built the school in the central kind of town land and um, you know whereas other schools grew up maybe through a different mm. 
need and in some country areas they might have two or three small schools that, that may be able to merge into one yeah. and still retain a certain amount of uh, uh, that, that, that family atmosphere and yeah. that parish atmosphere but we are sort of surrounded by bigger schools and that's more difficult yeah yeah what's your best memory of the school it's terrible to be talking about memories, memories. isn't it it is, it is, it is indeed, yes. Uh, oh, there, there will be many, many memories over, over the years. It, it, it's occasions when we get together, like there's an annual sponsored walk uh, every June and you'll get, you know, the parents, the grandparents, the younger sisters, neighbours, people who don't, people mm. who children are long gone from Clanton Place, mm. um, you know, support things like the sponsored walk, uh, the wee Christmas plays where, you mm. know, because their numbers are small, every child gets to do something in the Christmas play. There's no such a thing as being left out. You know, they, they all get involved and, and you know, just just being able to um you know do your own thing like that and and uh, and have such a support from people who come out to see it um satisfaction of seeing children you know, go through you, if you have them a couple of years they, they come up into the school little tiny tots <laughs> and you know you see them leave um uh, at the end of p7 sort of confident and looking forward to moving on mm -hmm. to secondary school and just mm -hmm. having having had a good a good start in life really you know what will it, in terms of the community down there in Clonter, or over there in Clonter Fleece, uh, what will the loss of this school, how will it be felt within the, the community? Well, I think it'll, it'll be a big loss to the community because um, it's, it's the, the school is the only thing in Clonter Fleece. It doesn't, have a, it doesn't have a housing development, and I think that has been to its disadvantage over the years. Developments have, have been everywhere, but they never mm. came. It's very picturesque. It's rural, and everybody who comes admires the the scenery and the setting, but without houses, you don't get pupils. Mm -hmm. um, it, the people will be devastated, really, because it's it's um, there's a bit of noise about the school. If you drive past, there's you know there's children outside. Yeah. You hear you hear wee voices and bit and of life, a bit of life about the place. Say. And it'll yeah. it'll be it'll be sad to see the place empty and quiet. Mm -hmm. And as as one uh, pupil who left there in, in June uh, remarked. And he's going off to St Mark's school. He said, uh, I'm, "I don't want to be driving past uh, in the bus coming home from St Mark's and look up and see, uh, you know, no cars or no no pupils mm -hmm. at at mm -hmm. Place." I thought he summed it up very well, you know. Absolutely, absolutely. Is it the end for yourself? Well, it's 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 time to take stock. I think it 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 uh, it possibly may be all right. I've I've um, I think I've done my <laughs> I've done my year service yeah. sort of thing and. Uh, some of the some some of the pupils you have taught may well be citizens of Manhattan or Sydney. As, as, as many yes, as many are the world. And, and 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 to my to my um, disadvantage, sometimes I meet them along the street and they'll say hello and they'll start to talk and then they will laugh and say, "Oh, you don't remember me?" You know, <laughs> the, the, the very far back ones. Mm -hmm. But um, well, yeah, well, it, it, it gives you an opportunity for sort of a few new things and Absolutely. enjoy new things in life. And thank you for coming in. You're very welcome, Rowan. God bless you, thank and you. I wish you all good luck in the future. Thank you. And that's Clontifley School, one year left in its uh, long life, and then it's finished. And and Duffy, uh, the final, final headmistress there. Sean, we'll have some music, please. <laughs>